What we're going to learn in this video is how to connect a Square online store or other Square system to a Meta business account, specifically Meta Commerce. I'm going to assume that you have a Meta business account and that it's connected to a Facebook page and an Instagram page. What we'll do is, assuming we have this in place, we will go over to our Square system. We'll log into the Square dashboard. Then we'll go to online, online sales channels. We'll find Meta for Business right here. We'll click continue. We'll agree. And then we can enable pixel tracking if we'd like, but I'm going to leave it off for now. And then we'll click continue. We'll tell it which website to connect it to. And then it will ask us a series of questions in Meta. So we need to continue as an account. We'll continue with Meta. And then we'll select our business manager account. I'm using this one for this brand, Literally Magic. We'll select the Facebook page. We'll select the catalog. Now if there's not a catalog, we can click Create New and enter a name, but I'm going to click right here. We can connect an ad account. I'm going to connect this one, but again, if there isn't one, just click Create New. We'll click Next. Create a pixel or select a pixel. Next. Review your settings. Click Next, and then make sure that Square's settings are turned on. Now on this previous page, under the MetaPixel, we can do advanced automatic, automatic advanced matching, which will match our customers on Facebook with our website visitors based on different information. So like their email, gender, city, state, zip, name, phone number, date of birth, and external ID but I'm going to leave that turned off for now. Click Next, and then it'll just take a moment to link it to Square. And then once we do this, it'll be pretty much done. And then we'll just need to verify our domain, and that can take a little bit. That We'll need to have items added to the system before they'll verify it. Definitely have your custom domain, like shop.literallymagic.com or literallymagic.com. In this instance, make sure you have your custom domain, make sure you have your products, and then the verification process should be pretty smooth. And then we just wait on it to verify everything with Meta Business, and then we'll click continue up here. There we go. Um, and now it'll tell us it's syncing the items. Now what I said about the your domain verification is not complete, what we do is we go to manage, then we click here, click verify, and that will send a request to Meta Business to verify your domain. Now I don't have mine connected, but connect your domain to your site and then just verify it because what Meta Business wants to see is that you have legitimate items and that you have a domain for your website. Those are the two key things is having good items and items that are approved according to their policies and having a domain, a custom domain. So a .square.site domain is not going to get approved and having no items, that's also not going to get approved. But once you have this connected, then you're done on this end, and I can show it to you on the Meta Business end. So we'll go to business.facebook.com, and then I'm going to go to my settings for the business account. And then I'm going to go to data sources, catalogs, and we see that we have our Literally Magic catalog. We have our sources, 
and then we can also open this in the Commerce Manager and we can edit the items we can tell it which ones to display, tell it how to display it and use all of the commerce features that are in here. Be sure to comment below if you have any questions, like and subscribe if you want more Square Online videos and I hope you have a great day.